for those of you that are tired of the off-whites, you don't want a taupe, you don't want a beige, you don't want a gray, you just want a paint color that's like a light neutral, it's got a mix of a beige, a little bit of gray, then you might want to try out Sherwin-Williams Sun Bleached. This is a relatively new paint color and you can find it in the Sherwin-Williams Emerald Designer Edition. It's a fantastic paint color. I've used this many times over the year. And so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you the undertones of this paint color and then I'm going to compare it with some other similar paint colors so that you get a different perspective on what makes this paint color unique. And then towards the end of this video, I'm going to share with you just a few tips that you should know about Sherwin-Williams sun bleached. Now watch what happens when I compare this with Benjamin Moore Collingwood, which is considered a violet gray. Watch this. When you compare Collingwood with sun bleach, this is where you're going to notice the beige undertones in sun bleached. Now watch what happens when I compare this with Benjamin Moore Ivory White, which is considered a cream. Watch this. When you compare Ivory White with sun bleached, this is where you're going to notice the gray undertones in Sharon Williams sun bleached. So now you know that Sherwin Williams Sun Bleached is a grayish paint color, which means it's a mix of beige and a little bit of gray. Next, I'm gonna compare Sun Bleach with some other similar paint colors so that you can see what makes this grayish paint color so unique. Now watch what happens when I compare this with Benjamin Moore Swiss Coffee, which is considered a grayish. Watch this. You're gonna notice when I compare Swiss Coffee with Sun Bleached, how Swiss coffee is lighter and warmer than sun bleach. Sun bleach is cooler and darker than Benjamin Moore Swiss coffee. Now watch what happens when I compare this with Sharon Williams Oyster White, which is considered a grayish. Watch this. When you compare Sharon Williams Oyster White with sun bleach, this is where you're gonna notice how Oyster White is warmer than sun bleached. And notice how sun, sun bleached, it leans more on the gray side. You don't quite see the warmth in and sun bleached. Now watch what happens when I compare this with Sharon Williams Origami White, which is considered a grayish. Watch this. You're gonna notice how Origami White is slightly lighter than sun bleached. You're also gonna notice how Origami White is just a little bit warmer than sun bleached. Sun bleach leans on the cooler side. It's got a little bit more gray to it in comparison to Origami White. For those of you that want to select the right paint color that's going to pair with what you have in your home and you don't want to make a costly mistake, highly recommend you go to my website. I can help you with both interior or exterior paint colors. I help thousands of online clients every year. You're going to get a chance to speak to me live video call and I'm going to explain to you what will work and what will not work. And then you're also going to get a detailed color kit report that's going to tell you everything that you need to know when it comes to selecting the right paint color for your home. And you're going to have a confidence knowing that it doesn't matter which paint colors you select, you you know it's going to work. And please read the reviews, see what clients have to say. I would love to help you. Next, I'm gonna share with you some few tips that you should know about Sharon Williams Sun Bleached. So when it comes to lighting, Sharon Williams Sun Bleached is known to be a chameleon. So if you have a room or a space in your home that doesn't receive a lot of natural lighting, and that's including artificial lighting, don't be surprised if it leans on the gray side. It's known to be dingy, especially when you don't compare it correctly with what you have in your home. If you're looking for a warm off white to pair with Sharon Williams Sun Bleach that's going to create some contrast but that's not going to have that yellow undertone such as Sharon Williams Alabaster for example then I highly recommend trying out Sharon Williams Pure White it pairs and contrasts beautifully with Sharon Williams Sun Bleached if you found this video helpful please put a like let me know I want to hear from you and feel free to subscribe if you want to learn everything that you need to know about paint colors thank you for watching watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.